Since we already know that most projects fail due to the lack of proper prior planning, it's absolutely imperative that good solid planning takes place before embarking upon any project. In this section, we'll talk about what proper planning involves. Simply put, planning is answering the questions, what must be done, how should it be done, who will do it, by when must it be done, how much will it cost, and how good does it have to be. There are three kinds of activities that have to be performed during the course of the project. And these are strategy, tactics, and logistics. Strategy is referring to the overall method that you use to run the project and is sometimes called the game plan. Now, I want to relay a story that I read in a book about project management that gives a good picture of what strategy means to project management. The story goes that during World War II, defense contractors were under great pressure to build weaponry at an intense level. To accelerate the construction of ships and planes in particular, many new assembly methods were invented. Avondale shipyards, for example, worked on the method of building ships. The traditional way had always been to build the ship in an upright position. However, ships built from steel required welding in the bottom, or the keel area of the boat. And this was very difficult to do. Well, Avondale Shipyards decided to build its ships upside down to make the welding easier, and then turn them over to complete the structures above the decks. This strategy was so effective that Avondale could build boats faster, cheaper, and of higher quality than their competitors. And this strategy is still being used today, nearly three quarters of a century later. This is an example of innovative thinking during the planning stage, and it exemplifies real strategic thinking. Sometimes the way you've always done it is not the best way to continue getting things done. From strategy, we move into tactics. The tactics are the details or the nitty gritty tasks that must be done to complete the project. It's sometimes referred to as dotting the I's and crossing the T's. And in the case of our example about building metal ships, once the decision had been made or the strategy had been developed to build the ships upside down, the tactics would be the specifics of how this could be accomplished. How are we going to get the ship turned over without causing damage to complete the construction project? Logistics, when it comes to project management, is making sure that all of the resources are available and on location at the appropriate time. Whether it be the equipment or materials or labor, logistics planning makes sure that all the resources required to complete the current phase of the project are available at the appropriate time. To close out this section, I want to lay out for you the basic steps involved in planning. And these are step one, define the problem to be solved by the project. Step two, develop a mission statement followed by statements of major objectives. Step three, develop a project strategy that will meet all project objectives. Step four, write a scope statement to define the project boundaries. Step five, develop a work breakdown structure. Step six, using the work breakdown structure, estimate the activity durations, the resource requirements, and the costs. Step seven, prepare the project master schedule and budget. Step eight, decide on the project organization structure. Step nine, create the project plan. And then step 10, get the plan signed off by all project stakeholders.